ang didiscuss ko ngayon ay effect of temperature on resistance. Ang pagtaas ng temperature ay maaaring magpataas or magpababa ng resistance ng isang material or element depende sa uri nito. Kung titignan natin, itong ating resistance versus temperature graph ng iba't ibang klase ng material, makikita natin kung ano ang kanilang behavior kapag nag increase yung ating temperature. So, sa ating x-axis ay temperature, sa ating y-axis ay resistance. Munahin na natin yung behavior ng mga metal. Sa mga pure metal, kapag nag-increase, okay, kapag nag-increase ang temperature, mag increase din yung ating yung kanilang resistance. So, from initial uh, resistance R sub O, habang nag increase yung temperature, nag increase yung, din yung kanilang resistance. Ano bang nangyayari kapag tumataas yung temperature? Yung mga ions inside sa mga metal, uh, nag start silang mag-oscillate dahil nag acquire sila ng energy through heat. So, itong mga vibrating ions natin or vibrating ions ng mga metal ay magko-collide sa mga electrons. So, ito yung magiging dahilan kung bakit nag increase yung kanilang resistance. Halimbawa ng mga pure metal ay tungsten, copper, aluminum. Okay. Take note, the resistance of pure metals that increases linearly with increase in temperature is over a limited temperature range only. So, hindi uh, indefinite, hindi, de hindi hanggang hangga uh, habang tumataas yung temperature, nag increase yung resistance. For example, itong uh, graph, okay, itong, uh, again, this is temperature sa x-axis and yung sa y-axis natin ay resistance. Ito yung uh, temperature versus resistance graph ng copper. Okay, at 0 degrees, okay, at 0 degrees se uh, Celsius, yung resistance ng copper is 100. For example, this is 100 ohms. Okay, then it increases linearly, so it increases linearly up to 100 degrees Celsius, okay? But, kung mapapasin nyo, at temperature negative 2, 3, 4.5 degrees Celsius, the resistance, ano yung resistance ng copper? Ano to? Zero. So, almost zero. So, at this point, at negative 235.34.5 degrees Celsius, yung ating uh, copper ay mababa, zero ang resistance, therefore, good conductor siya at this temperature as shown in uh, at this temperature okay next is yung mga alloys natin tignan natin yung behavior ng alloys natin so ito yung isa tapos yung mga iba okay example yung mga eureka so mapapansin nyo straight line siya okay uh, generally uh, same with pure metal yung ating behave ng yung behavior ng mga alloys natin okay but the rate of change is less Kasi ito, mataas ang slope niya, yung rate of change. Ito namang sa mga alloys is less siya sa metal. So, in fact, yung mga ito, itong mga certain alloys natin like Eureka, Manganin, Constantan. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, as the temperature increases, okay, for a considerable uh, range of temperature, so at as temperature increases, Walang change do sa ating resistance. R sub O pa rin siya. Okay? Due to, due to this property, the alloy, okay? Yung mga alloy na to ay ginagamit sila para mag-manufacture ng resistance box. Okay, next, tignan natin yung behavior ng mga semicon and insulators. The resistance of semicon and resistors and yung mga electrolyte, they decrease, okay? Pababa. They decrease they decrease o oh, ayan oh. habang tumataas yung temperature nagde-decrease like, yung resistance nila okay so at zero temperature kung mapapansin niyo yung mga semicon natin they behave uh, they behave as a perfect insulator so hindi natin makikita dito sa flat pero kung titingnan niyo dito sa malapit sa zero na temperature napakataas ng resistance ng mga semicon natin so kung mataas ang resistance good insulator sila Okay, at kung titignan nyo, konting increase lang sa temperature, babagsak na, okay? Babagsak yung uh, resistance ng ating mga semiconductor. Kaya maganda gamitin yung mga semiconductor sa mga gadgets kasi dahil sa ganitong property nila. Okay, 
So, yung mga semicon and insulators, they have negative temperature coefficient of resistivity. Kasi kapag habang nag increase yung temperature, nagdi-decrease naman yung uh, resistance. So, ano ba yung temperature coefficient of resistivity or temperature coefficient of resistance? Okay. The change in resistance of a material with the increase in temperature can be expressed by means of temperature coefficient of resistance. So, if we consider a conductor having a resistance R sub O, okay, at 0 degree Celsius, okay, for example, na, uh, heated yung ating uh, metal or co conductor, okay, yung temperature nag-increase siya to T degree Celsius, so yung kanyang uh, final resistance is R sub T. Okay, ngayon, we will, kung makikita natin dito sa ating plot, ito, itong graph na to, makikita natin na yung delta R or yung change in temperature which is equivalent to RT minus R sub O depends or directly proportional to una, initial resistance or R sub O. Next, directly uh, proportional siya to the rise in temperature, yung delta T or T. Okay, and the last yung nature of material of the conductor. So, chan papasok yung alpha or yung temperature coefficient of resistance kasi depende yan sa material. So, we can express yung load 1 and 2 that the change in resistance or RT minus R sub O is directly proportional to the initial resistance times the rise in temperature. So, if you want to express this um, statement or uh, uh, statement of proportionality, at papalitan natin ng equal sign yung uh, direct, direct proportion, directly proportional sign. So, mag-introduce tayo ng constant. So, what is that constant? Yung constant natin is yung pangatlong note, yung ating temperature coefficient of resistance alpha. Okay. May table tayo dyan kung saan makikita natin yung value ng alpha. So, arranging this equation, okay, we can uh, uh, produce a equation of uh, equation na magagamit natin to get, uh, example, the final resistance or yung change in resistance given uh, increase or decrease in temperature. So, ito yung gagamitin natin kapag magsusolve tayo ng problem on the effect of change in temperature sa resistance ng isang material.